This is a card key door, so you, uh, when you use a card key, it automatically unlatches it. And here we go, I'll show you. And this device just did a pull. As you can see, um, there's a strap on the back of the door. If you can see that, there's the strap. It's attached to the door and it simply extends under the door and you just step and pull. That's all there is to it. Let's move on. Okay, we're at our second door now. This door also has a panic bar on the back and a handle on the front. And we'll show you how this one opens. You just step and pull. And uh, as you can see in the back, it has a panic bar. So going in this way, you use the panic bar. Going in the other way, um, we have a strap, just like on the other door. This strap is attached such that when it's pulled down, it compresses the panic bar and therefore unlatches the door because we don't have a card key on this door. I'll we'll show you one more time. Just step and pull. Okay, that's all there is to it. Okay, let's go on to our third door. Here's our third door. This standard handle, it's got a handle on both sides. Um, to open this door, it has to do something a little bit different. You have to pull the handle down. So what I've done is rig the strap on the handle and then a little stirrup and we just step and push on the door to get it to open. Pretty simple from this side. Now from the other side, it's a little bit different. We'll show that to you. On this side, we have a uh, step and pull mechanism similar to we had on the other doors. In this case, it's just a strap on the floor, and as you can see, it's you know it's attached to the strap that's used on the other side. So this strap helps you open the door on both sides. This will be the third door that we show you how to uh, rig up.